I'm Tom Stone, head coach at Texas Tech women's soccer, and the women's soccer team is here at our home facility watching Janine Becky play in her gold medal celebration game. It just set a great standard for goal scorers at, at Texas Tech, and you got to have those players if you want to compete for championships. You can't just you know, be a great defensive team or have a great goalkeeper. We have all those things, but you have to have players that can put the ball in the back of the net. So it's, uh, you know, Janine set the standard and uh, those that follow have to have to live up to that standard. And Oh my gosh, I didn't even know that was her. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. She's very above. That's the leading goal scorer in the history of international soccer right there. Definitely taller than 5'8". <laughs> She's definitely taller. Everybody's about 5'8 for me, you know? <laughs> Like every guy's, every guy's, every guy's six foot. <laughs> yeah, how tall? Like six foot. She's playing that for Man City right now, and I guess they needed her there, so she's playing right back. You guys don't get to watch enough soccer anyway, so this is good for you. Go, Janine. That's a good ball. Man City, she was second in the league in assists when she played right back. Oh, really? Yeah. But no, she's always been so amazing about making relationships with all the girls, all the commits, all the. Um, current players, she does such a great job. She really, you can really tell she really cares about this program and she really, she'll, she is and always will be a Red Raider. Um, she's always been such an inspiration to me just from her relationships on and off the field, the kind of player she is on and off the field, she's really someone that I strive to be like. She can play every position. <laughs> Neener! She only has 70,000 more followers than you, but you'll get there. <laughs> Peter, cross it. <gasps> oh, okay. Oh. What are the odds of her scoring with all of us sitting in here? Be pretty awesome. She's not doing bad though at this position. I mean, I feel like when you're that high level level, you can play anywhere. When I first met Janine, she was still a student here at Tech, and so um, as a high school girl, I think that was something really cool to be able to follow her um, college soccer journey and then to see everything that she's accomplished now. And my freshman year, Janine was a volunteer coach, so I got to work with her one-on-one, um, -on -one, and she would do shooting drills with us and give us all the advice, and she was just someone that I admired and I still admire to this day. Give them their full team. Nina! Oh, throw in. Jump, Nina. Oh, 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 oh. Get it to Neener. Get it to Neener. Well, Texas Tech has a saying anyway, from here it's possible. And for Janine, that she is showing every single player on our team what's possible as they come through this program. Um, she wasn't the best player in Colorado that year. She wasn't the best player on our team her freshman year. But she became that incredible high level player over the course of her four years and then her time in the pros. And all the effort and attitude that she combines to be the young woman and the young player that she is has really set a new standard for the players here to look up on the wall and see she was drafted in the first round of the NWSL and then now signed for one of the best clubs in the world, Man City. Go, on, Nina. go, go, go. <gasps> Smash it! Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's awesome. I thought it went in. The first one. I thought it went in. She wore 12 here. Yeah. No, it's on the. It's on ice right now because we're waiting to see if she gets in the Hall of Fame or not. But we've got one in who's our first ever leading scorer, and Janine broke all her records. So she has a great chance of getting in. I'm fairly certain it'll happen. Yeah, so for Janine to win the gold for Canada was, you know, an incredible moment for her and her family, and also for all of us here who watch her grow up in Colorado and come to Texas Tech and dominate. G has the record for game winners against Iowa State. That's a thing. That's a thing. No, she has two. Last year and this year.